everybody. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to do a multi-view drawing or an orthographic drawing of one of these parts. And once you do it one time, you see it one time, you do it one time, you'll kind of get the hint. Um, so uh, in a previous video, we've kind of made a puzzle. We've put the puzzle parts together and now uh, it's time to start the drawing. Um, so all you need to do is open one of your parts. You're going to have to do this steps for each of your parts. So I'm going to just pick this blue part right here. And then um, as you design this, you want to make sure all of your dimensions are correct. And you should have done that in, in a previous video. You come down here to this plus sign right there and move myself out of the way. And you go to create drawing. Now, this is where you're going to have to talk to your teacher or your employer and kind of see which one works best for you guys. So I'm going to do a part A. So you can see we have part A. I'm going to move to ANSI. So and then also I'm going to use inches. So I don't want to use millimeters. I'm going to use inches here and I'm going to hit OK. And it just takes a second to load. Then the nice thing about this is it fills in some information for you down here. So it puts the name of it, it puts your date on here. Um, and so now what we'll do is I'll click on this part and I'm going to click here. I'm going to go up top and put my top view. I started with my front view, now my top view. And now I'm going to move, I'm going to click again. I'm going to put my side view here. And I'm going to click my front view again. And I'm going to click up to the top right. And that should be my isometric view. Okay. Now, one thing I love about this program is um, I could add another side view. I could even add bottom view to this. And you know what? I could even add back view. But I don't really need all of that. So I'm just going to simply hit escape and delete some of these. Now, um, you can always change your orientation. So if you've decided that this view isn't the one that you want and you'd rather have your right side, you can see how everything rotates. And so if I go to my back view, you can see how everything rotates. So remember, we want our front view to have the most detail and show the highest dimension or the longest dimension, I'm sorry. So I like to look at this. So if this view looking at it here shows me my height, it shows me my most detail versus like if I go to my front view here, that could also be a pretty good view. Okay. Um, and so now I'm going to hit my green checkbox. Now the isometric, I can kind of move up here. However, when I move my front view, look at this, the top view moves. When I move my front view down, you'll notice that the side view, because these dimensions that we're going to add here by clicking on dimensions is going to make sure that we have all of the right dimensions and they all line up. So I'm going to click the side and I'm going to click the next side. I'm going to bring that down. A couple things about dimensioning. First of all, you can see how it lines up. So we only need to do this for, we only need to do the width in one of our drawings. So I'm going to do the width on our top view. Another thing about dimensioning is you don't want to like overlap your numbers. You can see how you can see how I just did that. And then this number wraps over that. That just doesn't look good. I'm going to hit D for dimension. I'm going to click here, click here, bring it down, and boom. I'm going to hit D for dimension again. And I'm going to click here and here and do that. Okay. I'm going to do the width here. And I'm going to do the width here. All right, here's an example of overdimensioning. First of all, this dimension is on there twice. I don't need it. 
I'm going to click on this and delete it. Second of all, this dimension is on here twice. I don't need it. You don't want to over dimension it because the readers of your drawing are smart enough to be able to read it once. They don't need to read it a bunch of times. Another thing about over dimensioning is if you can figure out the dimension of a part by very simple calculations, then you don't really need it. So, for example, I don't need this 1.5 if I know 0.75 plus 0.75 is 1.5. Or I could get rid of just one of these three because of simple math. So, I'm strictly going to get rid of this. If you were to get rid of one of the other ones, you would be okay. So, you can see how this lines up. Okay. That tells us the width of this part. Now I'm going to figure out the height of the part. And you can see the height lines up here. So I'm just going to work on height on this part right here. And I'm adding, I'm clicking on here. Now, the reason why I'm able to click on here, I should probably back up a little bit, is because I have my dimension key, my dimension button all set up. Okay, again, I can get rid of one of these dimensions. I don't need all of these dimensions. So because of simple math, math, we know that this number minus this number minus this number gives us 0.75. Um, and then likewise, as we move this over, you can see how it lines up. I love this program because if I were like, oh, I need to move this over and maybe down a little bit. You'll notice how the drawings move with it which is so important because the top view has got to go on top of the front view and the side view has got to go to the side of the front view. And so finally, let's add, we have height, we have width, now let's add some depth to our dimensioning. So I'm gonna click D for dimensioning. I'm gonna add this right there. Um, And we can add this down here. Now, this and this, they line up perfectly. So technically, I don't need that there because it is lined up there. So we have height right here. We have width. We have depth. We have everything measured. Um, and so you have your name on it right down here. Um, and then if you were to print this off, you know, your teacher or your professor would sign off on it. So that is how you do a multi-view drawing or an orthographic drawing using Onshape. You can also get into some more details when you click here and um, you can start changing some of the details in there and have some fun with it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or on our Google Classroom.